All right, so I'm sure you all know that everybody pretty much in the country, as well as most of the world, is under isolation or quarantine or whatever we're calling it now. It's a scary time. It can be a hard time, especially for those who have anxiety, such as myself, or for those who don't. Maybe you're experiencing kind of what it's like to be anxious about the world as a whole for the first time, so that's okay too. So it can be a little bit hard to deal with, but I wanted to share some of the ways that I am dealing with being stuck in the house all the time. I've learned a lot of really good coping techniques from being in therapy, as well as just just living with anxiety my whole life so I wanted to kind of share some things that I am doing to make myself feel better and hopefully they will help you too because this is a very uncertain time we don't really know how long this is gonna last I wanted to share some things that I'm doing to keep myself busy I have a full list of tons of stuff and I'm gonna put tons of links in the description as well if you have anything that you're doing that is not something I mentioned or maybe in addition to something that I mentioned that you want to share go ahead and do that this is some things that I have found slash my friends have shared with me that have really helped me to just kind of calm down and and enjoy some time at home. So as you can see, one of the very first things that you'll notice about this is that I dyed my hair pink. That is something that I did today, this morning, just kind of as a fun little thing because I'm gonna be home from work for at least two weeks, and so I figured it'll wash out by the time I go back and just kind of fun. So yeah, I dyed my hair pink this morning. It was so much fun. It was great. I feel amazing. I look amazing. I am wearing my Lady Gaga shirt because she inspired me not only with this, but also in my everyday life. So it just reminded me of her it makes me happy it's all about i think right now just doing things that make you happy and things that if you have to have a little distraction from stuff every now and then i think that's okay and if you have to take a step away and not for your mental health not look at the news right now which is something that i'm really trying to do so i set limits up on my phone for screen time basically it forces you to like click out of apps every now and then so i set up an app limit for social media and for news apps so that i don't look at it for too long and then if it's done like it's cut off for the rest of the day if you need to get back in you can but like that really helps me to not be focused on just sitting there refreshing my phone over and over again something i really really loved is how many people are doing like at home active classes they're live streaming yoga they're live streaming ballet classes i did ballet yesterday and it was was so liberating and so refreshing and I absolutely loved it and I did it again this morning and I again it was so much fun so I'm gonna link to a couple places below that are doing live yoga and ballet and other classes um, I follow an Instagram person who he's a professional dancer and he does little live dance parties every day they're so much fun I went to one of them yesterday and the day before so I really love them too and that's really helping me because that way you can kind of uh, get up and still be doing things even if you are not leaving the house something else I did today was I did my makeup so I don't ever get to wear makeup looks like this at work obviously so I did the most non Disney makeup that I could think of and I love how it turned out I think it's so pretty and I know a lot of people aren't wearing makeup this entire time just kind of like give your skin a chance to like be refreshed but I think it's really fun and I like doing makeup and I think it's almost like therapeutic for me I've talked about that before on my channel but I think that it's a fun way to like do something artistic and creative so I'm gonna do it probably every couple of days just to like do something fun and I like I said never get to express myself like this specifically so I think that it's a fun way to do that so I did that today and I am really happy that I did I think it looks really pretty especially with my hair I love it speaking of on that note about like kind of being artistic I also have been doing uh following along with Bob Ross YouTube videos and I have been along on my iPad doing oh why is it upside down doing little paintings of my own why can't you figure out which way you're going um, and just following along it, it is so relaxing and soothing so thank you to my friend julia who suggested this it is just so fun like i did this last night and it's like i don't have a stylus i'm literally just using my, my finger um the app is called procreate i just think it's just so fun and relaxing and it honestly is a good way to spend like 30 minutes so i'll put a link to the bob ross youtube channel below speaking of youtube i have a bunch of really nice like calming soothing channels i'll put below as well it's a playlist that i made of just like like things that are relaxing or calming and like painting videos and there's some that's like candy making there's some that's just oh there's the, the guy who restores artwork that's one of my favorite ones if you click through the actual channels that they're on it's a good way to like just find a lot of videos that you like and are very calming and relaxing i literally fall asleep to those candy making ones sometimes it's so nice so i'll put that in the bottom too for entertainment is my next category so there's a lot of people who are live streaming things there's a lot of museums that are doing virtual tours and uh things that have like live streams of like animals and exhibits we watched one today of red pandas for like an hour it was so nice oh there's also a bunch of youtube channels that have like a lot of just like walking tours of like various cities i saw a thread about this on twitter that i'll link to that's just kind of walking through things it's like you're really there so at a time when we aren't allowed to leave the house it's nice to just be able to kind of pretend like you're leaving the house so i'll put those two the georgia aquarium is streaming a lot of different webcams of different animals in their exhibits so if you like animals that's a good one too also just like watching stuff at home i think that there's 
You don't have to be ashamed about just sitting around watching like YouTube or Netflix or whatever. I like to watch it while I do other stuff. So like while I was doing the dishes, I just watch something um, or like watch with your friends. Obviously, if you've watched my channel before, you know that my two best friends don't live anywhere near me. So we've gotten very, very good at watching things together and counting down and pressing play at the same time. We've been doing it for literally 10 years. So that's something that's definitely already part of our friendship. But if you are used to hanging out with your friends in person, it can be a little more difficult to get used to. I saw somebody talking about a extension for Chrome that's called Netflix Party. And you can watch Netflix at the same time and like pause and play at the same time so you know you're synced up. But otherwise there's no shame in literally just counting down together and pressing play. If you're a little bit off, it doesn't matter. Like you're gonna watch it together. And it makes you feel like a lot closer to people. We've also done a lot of other stuff together too. Like me and my friend Anna went to the ballet class together today we went to them together so like, we've been doing belly together every day and it's just like such a nice little thing to be able to do stuff together even if you're not physically together like I said we've had a lot of practice because we have been long-distance friends forever but if you're not, this is a good time to get practice, I guess. And then as far as like mental health stuff, like I said, don't be afraid to step away from your phone and not think about things for a while. There's a couple websites that have guided meditations for free up that I will link below too. My therapist has said that she reached out to me and said she can do um, like telephone sessions, so I might do that as well. There are already options on like apps and online and stuff like that for virtual therapy. So if that's something that you're interested in, you can maybe check that out too. I don't know of any person myself, but those they definitely exist. I think that's everything that I have. There's a lot of stuff you can do without leaving your home and I think it's like people are just really realizing that there's a lot of stuff that they can do I think it's important to find enough stuff to do that you don't get crazy and look back to the news and start driving yourself insane again but also just maintain the human connection talk to your friends hang out with them watch movies together it's only been two days and I've already done a lot of stuff so we are hanging in there I don't know how long this is gonna last nobody really does but we're gonna be okay and just remind yourself that it's gonna be okay so that was it uh, I just want to do a quick little video and talk about all that stuff that I'm doing to make myself feel better so hopefully some of those things can help you too like I said if you have any suggestions or things that you're doing to feel better go ahead and leave me a comment and tell me what they are because I'm always looking for new things to do so I don't feel crazy but overall like I said the most important thing is just know that it's gonna be okay so that's all I hope you have a good day I hope you have a good rest of your isolation uh we'll see how many of these things i am still enjoying and talking about so pleasantly in a few weeks or days or however long we're here but i hope that you are looking after yourself and everybody else around you and i will see you next time goodbye also i forgot to say that animal crossing comes out in three days so that's gonna be a great way to spend time in three days okay that's it